Oh, my dear sweet human, you look so delicious and fragile, laying there next to me in bed, asleep. Mm. Well, we have this time together. I think I'd like to take some time while you're blissfully unaware and make a few confessions. <laughs> yes, I've done some evil things over the years, especially to you. You see, demon folk, we, uh, we obsess over things, and, uh, I'm no different. For thousands of years, I've dreamed of having a pet human, just like you. And about when you were three years old, I believe, I saw you there, sitting on the curb, perfect as could be. But I knew that you had to mature like fine wine. And I waited patiently, ever so patiently. Mm. So I pulled some strings with work, did my job, did everything within my power to guide your growth made sure that you became the best that you could possibly be just for me mm, all for me so that we could spend all of eternity together it started with your next door neighbor's father I seduced him, stole his soul, turned it into work, and the remains of his family lost their home. His daughter, who had her eyes on you, no longer had a home, and she had to move away. I couldn't stand any other woman to have her eyes on you. I wanted you all to myself. After that, well, your mother was paying too much attention to you. So, of course, she had to go as well. Cancer was a little tricky to pull off, but I pulled a few strings. Then your father had to raise you on his own. Um, your first crush was in second grade, I think you mortals called it. I couldn't stand having you look at anyone else, even that young. That one was an easy one, though. Fire is very easy to uh, lose control of. Hmm. It did seem that disaster did follow you quite a bit when you were younger, didn't it? It seemed every year in school you had to change schools and people died all around you. What a coincidence. First there was a fire, then the second floor of that school suddenly collapsed. 
and then a gas leak that just mysteriously exploded. I wonder why all of this would happen to someone. And then when you got into college, drunk driving accidents and, well, it's very easy to drink too much and, you know, drown. These things do happen. And then there was your ex-fiance. Mm. That was actually one of my co-workers. Oh, that was a masterpiece. Yeah. But anything to make sure that your eyes are on no one but me. Oh. I don't want you looking at anyone else. And I won't look at anyone else anymore. I mean, technically I have to because it's my job as a succubus. But realistically, I'll only be looking at them as meat. For you, you are my dearest, most precious human pet, my devotion, my obsession, and it's no stretch to say that I would do anything for you. But of course. I would never tell you that while you're awake. Because if you got caught wind of that, <laughs> you might ask a bit too much now, wouldn't you? I mean, you already have me running to the human world every few days for that infernal fast food of yours, and that's not very healthy now, is it? I mean, have you seen the number of calories on that stuff? And that mocha frappe whatever stuff that's got more calories in it than I drink in a decade. But then again, I can subsist completely on your love for the rest of eternity. Mm. As for the rest of your requests that you've made, they might take a little bit longer. I have to pull some other strings from work. That computer thing. I'm not sure that even Lucifer can get the latest and greatest hardware for that thing. And this internet thing? I'll have to consult with the spider net for that. But if I can get it, I'll expect quite a bit of compensation. Mm -hmm. My precious human. Mm, just look at you sleeping there, all peaceful and blissfully. 
That's an odd word for me to say. Hmm. Blissful. Hmm. Not something you would expect a demon folk to utter, would you? Either way, soon our registration date is coming up, and with that, we'll be bonded for the rest of eternity. Hmm. Then, there's no turning back. Not that there ever was, my precious human. Mm -hmm. I'll be bound by our laws to care for you, feed you, clothe you, provide for you. Make sure you're taken care of for the rest of your natural life, which, for all practical purposes, now that you have no longer are mortal, or have a body, so to speak, is till the rest of time. And your side of the deal is uh, basically the same to feed me. Mm, what else? Oh, yes. I'll need life energy and emotional energy, and entertainment. You'll be taking care of the house while I'm at work, and other things like that, you'll be the house pet, yes, the house pet, the house human. Doesn't that sound nice? While I'm working, providing for us. Though, I could use a foot massage now and then. Shoulder rub. And I would, of course, reciprocate quite readily. Anything for my dear pet, human, my delicious pet human. as I would love to let you sleep in all day. My sister's going to be over soon, and she is such a bore. Uh, and again, she is a sloth demon, and she loves to yammer on for literal years about the stupidest things. Hopefully, she leaves within a month. Which means we're going to have to get you up and we'll have to get you some clothes. And I'll need to know your style. So, wakey wakey, my pet human. Wakey wakey. Wakey, 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 wakey. Okay, you need to wake up now. Mm. 
You're starting to upset me now. You know you don't want to upset me. Wake up, my dear human. Wakey, wakey. Wakey, wake. Are you awake now? Oh, good. You're awake now. We need to get you some clothes. My sister's going to be here later this afternoon. Yes. You just tell me what kind of clothes you like, and I'll hop over to the human world and seduce you some. No, it'll be all right. I'll use my form of currency. I'm not sure I know how to pronounce that. Well, how about you write it down, and whatever size you wear, here's a notepad, and I will, and, and your favorite colors, yes, and I will do my best to pick out something that you will look, hmm, how do I want to present you to my sister? don't want you to look too delicious in front of her. She is a sloth demon, after all. And no, not that kind of sloth demon. She's more... She... Lures people into being lazy. Yes. She's not the big, lazy type herself. Yes. Mm hmm. Okay, well. Ah, and you'll need breakfast. Why don't we try and find you something a bit healthier this time, rather than that fast food? I did say I would get you anything, but you know I would prefer you to eat healthier. You do need to take care of yourself. Well, I may be a heartless, soulless demon, but I still have an inkling of love, and it's all for you. And I really do want you to take care of yourself. No, you... Like I've, I've said before, I will never lie to you. Well, I will try and find these clothes in a presentable manner. Ones that will make you look delicious, but not overly appetizing. Okay, yes, yes. I will try to refrain from you referring to as delicious. And I will try to find something healthy on that fast food menu. Though I have no idea what anything actually tastes like on that menu. And if my sister calls and she says she's bringing her dog, please let her know that no hellhounds are allowed in this apartment because I do not want to forfeit my deposit. Yes, it's 17 souls, and as you can well imagine, that's quite a few. Even for her. Yes. Oh, also, if I'm not back in time, there should be a package arriving. I was able to obtain a Wii U. 
I'm not sure if that's an adequate gaming system. I mean, this is hell, of course, so probably not. Either way, it should suffice until I'm able to get you one of those computers. I do hope you're not too upset. Please understand, I really am trying. Shipping and receiving down here is... It's really torture. Anyway, I'll, I'll be back as soon as I'm able. Kisses, my dear human. I'll see you soon.